Hey everyone. Hey guys. So in today's video, we're gonna be doing a unboxing of the Avi Figures haul. So we got a couple figures that we're going to show you guys. So stay tuned for a official review very soon. All right, uh, let's cut the tape and see what we get inside. Oh, look at that. Okay. So, we got two figures right here. And let's take them out of the bag. Thank you for your order. And I'm going to remove the receipt. Oh, look at them. Oh, they look awesome. Yeah, so we have... um. 2009 or Miguel O'Hara and we also have Miles Morales. Which one should we open up first? Let's do Miles first. All right, we got the protagonist right here. So, whoa. Okay, so these are like um AV figures, like first kind of like non stores really figures um based on the new movie Cross the Spider Verse. And um, the pictures look pretty good, so uh, I definitely wanted to pick these guys up. I think they were around like, uh, I think Miles was like around 30, and Miguel was like um, 34 ish. So they wanted to make uh, affordable uh, versions of these figures because normally customs can go from like over 80 to 100 ish. So it's really cool to see. Um, uh, AV figures or like five star toys make um, more affordable customs for your collections. So, uh, here we have Miles. Um, they used like UV printing, so it's like really nice texturing. Yeah, he looks awesome. The texturing looks really nice, and the printing is just really clean. And yeah, I love like the webbing on him, and it's just a really well done figure. Yeah, um, so it doesn't have any, like, uh, kind of, like, side leg or side torso printing, but, so it's not really 360, but it keeps the price down, and, like, less motor pieces, but the texturing really, like, captures the suit, so UV, like, looks really nice here, and we've got side, um, arm printing, and, of course, the front back, no side, I mean, no back leg, unfortunately, but we got the back of the head in the front of it with his, like, um, kind of bigger animated white eyes and the uh the hands are kind of like uh spray painted or something where it has like the red inside and the black on the outside and you can see the stripes of the suit and the um leg printing with the toe printing right there for his like kind of like, um shoes kind of and there's his like spider symbol right there and you kind of see this like dark blue and black with reddish look to it and obviously he's like grown up so he doesn't have like short mid legs anymore and more kind of like regular size legs so you also get included uh, miles's head right here which looks pretty nice looks pretty accurate as well and you also get kind of like finn's hair piece from lego star wars yeah it's a really uh Again, good figure in that, and I love the face too. And yeah, the tall legs are way more accurate. Now the hair piece, um, actually the new Aaron one from Lego Ninjago fits a little bit better. Again, the one that they use like isn't terrible, but uh, we prefer the Aaron one. So we're actually gonna oh right there we just tried it on now. So yeah, we think that one looks a little bit more accurate. But again, uh, maybe EV couldn't access as many of the new hair piece so they had to use the thin one but again still both are pretty much like accurate just this one's a little bit more accurate but yeah yeah like just the hairstyle maybe like this is kind of like less puffier but either way it looks really nice um unfortunately it's only one side head but it kind of works here actually because otherwise it would be kind of showing with the Aaron hair piece all right, next, we're gonna go on to 2009. 
So this is the antagonist of the film. Uh. Alright guys, um, so here is 2009. Um, unfortunately, probably like during, um, and due to shipping, uh, the claws broke off, which is really unfortunate because, um, that was probably like the coolest part of this figure. Um, I have the three remaining pieces of it and I looked back and it was kind of broken when I opened it. So I think maybe due to the packaging and something happened during shipping, it broke and here's like a good tiny piece. Um, but here's the figure, it looks really nice um, with the blue and even the dark blue and the red and the texturing. And here um, we have the red hands on the inside with dark blue kind of like sprayed on the outside. And here are the broken claws. Um, and here's like the web shooter and got like the red shoulders and the face and torso, which I think looks pretty accurate to the suit. And same thing here. Um, no side torso or legs or even back printing. I wish they were done just the back printing or uh, back legs at least. Um, but unfortunately that didn't happen, but um, I still think it looks pretty cool. And here we have the red um, on the feet as well. Yeah, he looks really nice. Again, it's a shame that he doesn't, he's not fully printed or almost fully printed, but Again, he's still really well printed in the areas that he uh, is printed, so that's really nice. Um, and if we try on the head that comes with, um, I think it's pretty accurate. And he also comes with this hair that was like, used on Spider-Man before. Um, and I feel like um, for like a Lego Pierce hair, this hair works, um, but I think Fi still has some pretty quick custom hair, so. Um, I think they're planning on releasing, like, Into the Spider-Verse, uh, Miles, and Across Spider-Verse Gwen, which is pretty cool. Also, um, hopefully Hobby and Pav, um, from the recent movie as well, so. Um, most likely when those comes out, we'll probably order them and do a review. We'll unboxing when we get them but uh that is 2009 um and um i'll put a picture up of what the claws are supposed to look like um they definitely look pretty cool and accurate but that is miguel o'hara all right guys i just wanted to record this quick clip i realized um while editing this video I've been calling him 2009 instead of 2099, so that's my bad. Um, but I try to use some sticky tack. It's obviously very visible, um, but you can see a demonstration of what the claws are supposed to look like. But um, I just contacted AB Figures and they're very kind. So I should be able to get some replacement parts for the claws. So I'll probably do a short like um, when I get the replacements, but very good customer service. So stay tuned for more content. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the bell, like the video, and comment down below your favorite figure from this haul. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye.